Deacon, Mormon Deacon Craig Tusher. I always liked you, dude. You were a good guy. And before I get on that, Cal Worsham, will you please put a video out or get on Facebook or something and say that it's not you that's contacting me, okay? Because we both know that the only time you ever got the best of me in training was when I was three or four deep in a rotation and you came in and I was tired. And then remember that one time when I was sparring with you and I touched you to the ribs and you were out for like six to eight weeks? I apologize for that. I didn't even hit you hard, okay? I like you, but let's put this to rest. I'm 49, and unless it's really, really profitable, okay, like me not getting paid for fighting Aaron Brink, um, I'm retired. But my son, my son would fuck your boy up. Now, Craig Tusher, I'm on a path right now to see how the American homeless, okay, and people that are disadvantaged and alienated from society are being treated okay i've discovered that stevia cures cancer it's high in alkalinity it's high in alkalinity and it actually flushes the human body it's like a purifier for water okay i've also discovered that stevia blended in water causes water to split into a natural gas i'm going to be a nobel prize winner okay and instead of taking you to court over a handshake. I'll tell you what, Greg, if we hypnotize you, okay, or lie detector test, remember before we played Lincoln, I believe, I was telling you about how mice, when there's not enough space, it doesn't matter how much food there is, it doesn't matter how much water there is, okay, not enough space, they go fucking absolutely batshit crazy, and they start fucking warring and feeding on themselves, just like humans, kind of like how our Bible has no expansion clause, okay? Go forth and multiply breed, okay? But when there's not enough space, we gotta shut that down. As a matter of fact, when homeless women are having five kids that are in fucking the, the system, okay? We gotta think about having women put on Depo-Vivera and human birth shouldn't be a right, it should be a privilege, okay? And we should control it, in my opinion, okay? All right? Think of the children. And also think of the children that are dying of cancer, Craig. I'll tell you what. I put my life on the line. This goes out to... This goes out to... Gator and AB Aryan Brotherhood. Am I not supposed to talk to you guys? Okay? Not supposed to mention your names? Okay? I don't really know. All right? But fact is, I put my life on the line to everybody in the Aryan Brotherhood that Stevia... And the pure H2O that I make with it would cure one of yours that is terminally ill with cancer, okay? Put me in a room next to them in a room, metaphorically. Let me roam around because you know where I am, okay? You can find me, all right? And I guarantee that pure H2O would cure them in such miraculous speed. People would be like, oh, my God, we want some of that. Pure H2O would quickly become the most sought-after drink on the planet, and it would lead to a lot of money, and money could pay off any animosity towards me, okay? That's a fact, Jack. And it goes out to Gator. You were cool, dude. I liked you a lot, okay, when I met you on 8 West 200, okay? Um, fact is, I didn't like it when I wasn't allowed to play chess with D-Ray, okay? A black gentleman who actually kicked my ass. Very smart, okay? The level of intelligence on 8 West 200 was incredible, okay? It was for the high-power gang unit. All the big homies, okay, were up there. I became friends with the blacks. What's up, snubs? And little Nick, all of my friends from Oak Park Zilla, okay? You know what? I put my life on a line that... Pure H2O would cure one of yours. And look at my neck, Craig. Okay, I'm 49 years old. I haven't been working out. I've been eating a lot of carbohydrates, but I have Stevie in my system, and I still have the neck, okay, of somebody who is considerably younger, okay? Like Jack Del Rio. Jack Del Rio, tell you what. Remember shaking my hand, okay? I bet you kind of do, since after I shook it, I got a release from USC and went to Notre Dame. I'll tell you what, Jack, if I was at if I was at USC when I make the play, I'm on the cover of Sports Illustrated. The fact that I could cover running backs like Alan Pinkett, man for man, shut them down. Uh, Alonzo Jefferson from uh, Florida, I guess he was like one of the top running backs in the country. He was really fast. It was easy covering him downfield because I had 
jets, and I was faster than him. You know what? I'd been on a path, Jack. When I was a football player, I thought that I was special, entitled, that I was better, okay, than people that weren't athletic. Why? Because they make so much money? Because we're so special? No. I'll tell you what. Fact is, everybody is human. Everybody deserves to be warm at night when it's freezing. Everybody deserves to have food in their belly so they're not hungry. You know, I think it's a testimony to the fact that Jesus would be weeping at everything that goes on in America, okay? We're a Christian society, and we have homeless and hungry that are freezing at night. That makes me fucking absolutely sick to my stomach. It pisses me off. And Craig Kusher, fat. Blend stevia and water. It turns into a natural gas. It cycles back into water when you're not adding energy to it. You're not blending, okay? All the toxic shit that your rich friends are selling us to use and pour down the drain. Warning, danger, caution, toxic will kill you, okay? Um, the fact that we're talking about going to Mars, you know? Um, do they foresee the future, Craig? Do they see that this planet is going to absolutely dry itself up if the internal combustion engine isn't outlawed as quickly as possible? How about this, Craig? Um, eminent domain. They did it, what, back when the railroads were taken over, okay? And they tried to put a cap on with the money they made. We should eminent domain Tesla's technology, make Toyota, Ford, Chrysler, Chevy, everybody that make Mazda, okay? Everybody that makes uh, the internal combustion engine should be forced to use Tesla's technology so we stop burning water up. Fact is, over what, 75% of the polar ice caps have melted? We should be flooded on what? But we're not, and that's because the internal combustion engine on a stop and go freeway in blistering heat in Los Angeles, it should be humid okay if there's no return i say that einstein was wrong okay there is a loss when temperature the burn temp takes it past where it's going to be returned into the nature and uh, smoke comes out the engine instead of humidity okay craig tusher please help me get stevia curing i'll tell you what mormon deacon craig there isn't any reason why any Mormon should ever die, okay? I'm telling you that Stevie would cure everybody in your con congregation, okay? I stake my life on it. I know that you guys aren't this big gang, but back in the day, the Mormons were bad, badass, because people were trying to kill them, okay? You know what? <laughs> if society broke down, America would go to war with itself. We think we're such a peaceful nation where we're fighting all over the world. Anyways, Craig, yeah, you're one of the best guys that I met. 1600 SAT, David Rockefeller was one of your roommates at Princeton. And you and I did shake hands on the fact that, you know what, if you become a $100 million guy, okay, and this story that I just told you about, how when I was seven, eight years old, I saw mice go crazy in a cage, okay, when there wasn't enough space. I said, you know what, if you take that to Princeton, and actually, you become a $100 million guy, would you give me, what, $5 million? He said, why not? I mean, back then, what did it matter? It didn't mean shit, right? Because possibly it's never going to happen, but you're worth over $100 million now, Craig. And fact is, in the 1980s to early 1990s, when you were there, Princeton spent millions setting the same idea that I told you. A coincidence? I don't think so. Anyhow, this is Dan Quinn to everybody out there who is suffering from diabetes, obesity, or cancer. Stevia cures, fact, not fiction. Stevia splits water into a natural gas, fact, not fiction. There will be a time when I am a Nobel Prize winner. There will be a time when I'm, or my idea actually generates money, lots of it, okay? Can you imagine drinking a sweet liquid like Coke, Pepsi, well, they can't use my idea yet because I have a poor man's patent, which supposedly gives me 17 years to profit, and I'm 9 to 10 years into that, okay? I still got 7 to 8 years time window to make a lot of money, and what I would do would be to deconstruct capitalism from the top down. Take money, 
build a company just like Walmart and instead of paying 95% of the profit up to the top, spread it out to everybody who is in the company, okay? So everybody has daycare, everybody has healthcare, everybody has enough because you know what? There is more than enough to take care of everybody on this planet. But if we don't stop populating, we're going to be five deep, okay? Because that's just how it is. Peace out.